I feel like this song just refuses to end. So, child, let's just get into it. Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Child, for what is a never-ending saga of foolishness all up and through the streets of America, Atlanta, LA, New York, and Florida, okay? I, every time I be like, you know, I just want a break. You know, like, can I get a little bit of a break? Child is lawsuits and, and accusations and just all the things going on. And every day, there's some kind of update, okay? Now, I can even no longer say it's going to only be an hour because I talk too dang on much. But what I can say is it won't be over two hours, okay? Because that's, we've been keeping a book, okay? We've been keeping it right where it needs to be, honey. And that is bubbling up under the two-hour mark, and that's been working for me, okay? Now. I hope everybody had a great, great Friday. We'll just rest on Friday, Thursday. Y'all had a great Thursday because it's not Friday yet. Um, had a great Thursday. It is my Friday because um I'm off work tomorrow. So because I am off work tomorrow, uh, I will probably have a couple lives in the middle of the day. Um, y'all know the Bishop Robbery Live is tomorrow. I think I'm gonna start the Bishop Robbery Live at like 5:30, maybe 6 p.m. Um, so that way we not up all night full of Bush and Robbie. I have to still watch and edit his thing. So I must I must say, you know, a live watch along for Bishop Robbery and his foolishness will be tomorrow at 6 p.m. And that way we'll be done by eight. And I can have my weekend and have fun and let that be that. Okay. But please make sure to do a couple of things. You know what I'm saying? Make sure to subscribe, like the video, comments in the comment section. The comment section. You can follow me on social media at Jaylee's Corner on IG, Twitter, and Tick of the Tops. Okay. Now, I have been having. I'm where I'm here. Hey, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Um, I my neck is killing me. Hear me? I mean, killing me. I slept on it all kinds of wrong and woke up and wanted to just pop my head off and sit it to the side, but I could not. So y'all see me look, I'm not moving much. It's because I could turn my head, child. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So, you know, I'm going to try my best to not let it bother me, but it's been a, it's been a day. It's been a day. Um, but hey, y'all, how y'all doing? Hello to all my mods, to the members, to the j -bars, newbies, OBs. And then nobody, okay. Hello to everyone. Okay, I am happy that girl. I I forgot Easter was Sunday. 
and which means tomorrow is Good Friday, and we all we closed on Good Friday. Uh, so I am happy. So that means tomorrow I can relax, relate, release, sit to myself and everyone around me or whatever, and come to y'all with some content throughout the day. Okay, at least the live at 6 p.m. for Bishop Rivalry. Okay, but hi to the peoples. Child, the every day, I every day, and the, the kicker is every day is something new. It's not the same thing. It's something new within the case. It's something new within the oh Lord Jesus. It's something new within the uh court proceedings for for, for Didi. You know, new allegations and stuff. I said, child, it's just it's, it's so much going on. I don't know what to do. And I was like, can we can somebody please fix it? Okay. Jesus can fix it. Uh, God, you know, uh, uh, Mary, Joseph, you know, get us some good old the, the disciples. Um, Farrakhan, dig up Johnny Cochran. Um, somebody come fix it. Nene, get, get Greg, get a seance, get a seance, bring Greg some good energy. Maybe Greg can fix it. I'm just like, it's just, I was like, what? And how and why and for what and for who and who said that and why are you speaking up and why are you not realizing if you keep saying stuff your accident because 50 cent child i said not i said 50 cent been up here trolling and saying things and now he's caught up in a rapture okay and i just feel like everybody if you have any inclination that your past could come back and haunt you just shut up just shut up because the now this the, the kicker is Diddy. We ain't heard nothing from Diddy directly. We've heard from you know sources, you know, Diddy's alleged, you know, team. Diddy been silent. Okay, the last thing Diddy said was me and Cassie, me and Cassie settled this thing right here. I'm gonna move on. And then when all the new charges came up, Diddy stay silent. But I want to get into, I just want to get into it. And let it be for what it is. I did put a poll up. So again, if you are, if you, I don't know, I think it's on my phone, and I got an iPhone on my phone right now. I can't even see the polls, so I don't know if if you're on a cell phone, if you can't see the poll or not. But there's a poll. Okay, who is the true villain in the foolishness between Portia and Simon? So I'm gonna let the poll sit for a bit of a minute, and then we'll add. Another poll late turbo. Go ahead and answer the poll. You know what I'm saying? Because I was like, child, both of them, if you ask me a little bit, a little bit. But let me, and the, the kicker is, I haven't even, like today, I say the few, I, I, it's because we're going we gonna to basically get into the stuff around here. Okay. Because I have, I wasn't fully able to like really scroll all the blogs today and whatever we missed today, we can get into it tomorrow. Okay, we can get into it tomorrow. But I felt like even the little itty bitty stuff around here, um, we, you know, it's fine. Okay, it's, it's enough to, to hold us to be like, okay, well, that's what's going on. So let me share my screen. Share my screen. Don't you leave, promise I'll be here whenever you need me near. I need to listen to Mary J. Blige. I need to cut on Mary J. Blige uh, real fast, but I can't right now because I don't get flags. Um, my look, if y'all, are y'all, are y'all following me? Um, oh, you can see, I don't know why I'm on my, why can't I see it on my phone? Am I clicking the wrong button? Let me see, because for some reason, child, I don't know. Who knows? Because on my cell phone, for some reason, I don't see it at all. Um, but if y'all can see it, that's what matters. Okay, all that matters is the people who voting, and that is y'all, the day of birth, I want y'all to be able to see it, to participate in, I got these windows open, people. I'm going to go back to my page and see. Maybe it was a glitch. Maybe because I was looking at it differently, I could not see. Or maybe because it's because I'm on my own page. Child, it don't matter. It's fine. Y'all can see it. That's what matters. That's, that's, that is the point. Okay. But 
trying to keep up like it just, it's just it's a lot you know it's a lot of whatever um and i was like jesus please fix it uh let me see so so far we have 47 votes and out of the 47 votes it says simon is winning right now okay simon is at 71 percent and portia that 29 because i can see it on my computer and we said what is it going i have my computer iphones they all should connect and i don't know why i don't um, but again, right now y'all saying Simon is on some bullshit. Uh, and again, if y'all do not follow me on social media, because if YouTube ever, if YouTube ever go down, you gotta catch me on my uh, on my eye of the G. And y'all, when I say I've, I've been this child, say, 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 saving because it was seen too much. Okay, and I was like, Jesus, Jesus, fix it. Um, but let's get into a few things. Well. Let's start here. No, not Amanda. That's I just say for different reason. I want to y'all 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 don't y'all look. I know um y'all tired of me talking about Amanda. So you know I'm gonna not leave that. But I'm happy Amanda made a post and she said how you know she wants folks to know that she feel for people who you know what I'm saying think down that she don't care and she do. Uh Dollar Tree said our prices, the maximum gonna be seven dollars. First of all, I feel like anything you buy in Dollar Tree, it won't last you seven days. Okay, I feel like things you buy in Dollar Tree ain't built to last. So I feel like to raise the maximum price to seven dollars is the equipment, is the things that we buy in. I know it's been upgraded. Because it was the point. I, how do you raise the price? Like, what's the point of the price being raised? It's Dollar Tree. Okay, it's Dollar Tree. So if y'all, if y'all, now I have not, I have not shot, I have not shot at a dollar store in a couple of years because I be like, man, let's have it delivered. It's fine, fine, fine. But I used to shop at the Dollar Tree. Thank you, Otero, for the cash app. Um. Thank you. Um, I ain't been there in a minute. Now, I used to shop there all the time. And when I used to shop there, the shit costed a dollar, maybe two, maybe three. Because I used to go to Dollar Tree, Dollar General. Because uh, here in, in Detroit, Michigan, we have Dollar Tree, Dollar General, uh, Family Dollar. And back when I was couponing, you can get the best deal at the dollar store. Because the stuff, again, was like, you know, three, four, five dollars or whatever. And so I was cleaning up shopping there okay so i feel like what is because i still feel like the tissue should, the price should go down but i guess it won't um but again they the, the maximum price it used to be five dollars now it's gonna be seven the price of everything is going up it said they plan to, di to diversify its products offering by introducing a multi-price assortment. The latest adjustment includes over 300 items priced between $1.50 and $7 featuring various products like food. food. First of all, look, I may give me a bag of chips. I may give me a bottle of water. But there is no, I, I may give me a Snicker bar. I may, I may get me a Snicker bar. Um, but I don't get a bag of chips. A Snicker bar and some bottled water. I'm not getting not nan food from a dollar store because I feel like y'all barely mop the floors right. I don't feel like y'all gonna be around here, you know, getting the good produce, and making sure the stuff ain't expired or whatever, and ain't been sitting forever in the day. So I am not a food shopper um, person who will go to to dollar stores to get food. Because I feel like, you know, sometimes they be on some B of the S. And I don't want to play. At all. Um, and that's stupid to me. Anyway, what else did it say? What it say? Food, pet, and personal care items. Now go get you now look, get you some toothpaste, toothbrushes, deodorant, um, you know, uh tampons, you know, pads, uh tissue paper. A paper towel, get all that if you need to. That part is fine. Um, and first of all, if if nothing is over seven dollars, can I get me some paper towel from there? Because paper towel at Walmart and Walgreens and Myers is eight eighty thousand dollars. Okay, 
Um, but again, that's what they say. But I was like, child, get out my face. Um, also, I saw this. Okay. Now, we had watched the other day the girl fussing about, you know, meeting um, Anthony Mackie not being happy that he did not greet her with the love and affection that strangers greet other strangers. What DC Young Fly was talking about, his, how he was annoyed, how fans interact with him. I'd be minding my business, right? And somebody that just come out of nowhere and be like this. Take a picture with me. I'd be like, bro, you just put your stinking ass on in my face, bro. What the fuck, bro? Real talk, I don't even speak of I just be sitting there chilling, listening to my music. I just. Come on, bro, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> First of all, if somebody come out the blue, and I see a hand come across my face. I'm in survival mode. Okay, I have to now beat you up, bro, because I think you're finna abuse me. Okay, abuse me. I don't want to be abused. So, people, you can't be around here putting phones in folks' face. Sometimes leave people alone. Okay, say from a, a good five, six feet, you know, a uh, standing point over there. Hey, hey, girl. In the eye. How you doing? Okay. I'm not trying to be rude or whatever, but I feel like if anybody walk up to a celebrity or whoever, whatever, and put a phone in their face without saying anything, if you happen to get punched in your face, that's your fault. Because why would you walk up to me and put your hand on my face? Okay. That is, watch your hands. Put your hands down. Don't do that. Okay. How you may try to stab and strangle me. Okay. Get out of my face. So the same way, you know, uh, Anthony Mackie, like, look, leave me long in public. DC, like, look, don't be around here putting your phone in my face with no picture. Say something for a bit or get punched in your face. This is, that's just my thought process. Punches in faces. Um, I want to I wanna touch on this. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Because the Housewives of Beverly Hills, which I do watch, uh, the new chick who happened to be a black lady, Anne Marie, I think it's either Anne or Anne Marie or whatever, she would not be back for season two. And her husband, Marcellus Wiley, who was accused of SA, okay, he was accused of SA. Let me pull it up. I want to be sure I, I quote the right thing on what this man stuff at because he made me mad. Now he. Was the cute? Let me get him show my thing because when I seen him, you know, trying to talk cast stuff about um Garcelle and Crystal. Now this is this is Anne Marie's husband. Okay, and as you see, former ESPN analyst and Housewives of Beverly Hills husband Marcellus Wiley accused of SA and R while at Columbia in 1994. Now this story came out in November, and the thing about it was on the on the on the reunion show, folks kept wondering would they bring up her husband's you know accusations of what he was accused of from back in '94, and it did not come up. You know, she would not be back for season two. However, because there was some story that, you know, oh, you know, sources said that, you know, Garcelle felt the way. Sources said. So, Anne Marie's husband was responding to some sources say stuff, and he was kind of talking talking about uh, Ken, not Karen, Crystal and Garcelle. Now, that's too small for me to read it. I can't read that little. Did I put it on my own page? Let me see. Because if it's on my page and I can see it there, I can just read y'all what you said. Because I felt like, sir, you were kind of a POS because it ain't nobody's fault that your wife was born. It ain't no one's fault. But you said she ate and a half. That's on you. Um, Don't get mad at us. Let me see if I can see it. I can't find it. Here it go. So he said, look at these bullshitters opening up. Pandora's box. I said, you mean Pandora's? Or you think they pandering? I'm confused, but I'm leaving that be because you made it to be, you know, Miss my face. Kristen knows damn well my wife's not a Trump supporter, but even if she was, who the hell are you to politically police her? Crystal also knows her virtue signaling as shouldn't be saying the N-word. Did she say the N-word? Did she? 
Anyway, uh, she not be saying the N word in the videos. A word I don't even I don't even use. You you oh you use the nigga you do. Okay. Uh, but she has worse. She doubles down on dumb by implying to my wife who she has to vote for since she's black. When people try to stand up for Trump, when folk try to say you can't tell me I can't support Trump just because I'm black, well that means you support you, you support Trump. Because most black people who don't support Trump would just say, well, I don't even like Trump. Man, fuck Trump. You can't tell me who to vote for, but still fuck Trump. And when somebody don't say fuck Trump, th that means you are for that man and we don't like you. Um, he then called her Krista Biden, okay? Uh, and Garcelle puts the con in confused, okay? I said, fuck con in constant words. Acts pro-black, but stays hating on black women in a desperate attempt to stay fancy on a show with no blacks. First of all, bitch, wait. Let's be real. My wife wasn't a good was wasn't good on Housewives. Personally, I'm glad she's off the show. She was a horrible fit. We saw it, and it was obvious why. It was obvious why it's impossible to truly know how fake you have to be to exactly to be exactly. Wait, it's wait. It's impossible to, to truly know how fake you have to be to actually be a real housewife. Sir, your wife ain't shit. We don't like her. We don't like you. Okay. And it all came from a story where sources said that allegedly Crystal felt some kind of way about Anne Marie and so did Garcelle. But I'm like, sir, you took the time out of your busy schedule to defend, and again, defend your wife, whatever. However, sir, what about the charges? Hey, if you want to speak up about something, what about the charges that were upon you that you allegedly, you know, forced yourself upon somebody else while at Columbia University back in 94? Okay, the lawsuit was filed and all that stuff. And the kicker part was, you know, it says he was a he was a sophomore at a private Ivy League school and running back for the school's football team. And he essayed the plaintiff multiple times in her dorm room. Okay. And, you know, caused her the emotional distress and blah, blah, bloop. Um, it then says how the school, because the girl told the school people she reported it back then. And it says administrators expressed fondness for old boy. And out of her claim, suggesting that the event was a misunderstanding. And whenever anyone says a school said, "Oh, it's a misunderstanding," it's a mis. I said, mm -mm, "Not them words. Go to hell." Uh, it says in the claim, the residential dean Kath Kathleen McDermott allegedly told the victim that Wiley did not are her because she was not from America and therefore had misinterpreted defendant's conduct because people from different cultures interpret things differently. Now, can you imagine telling somebody that this happened to you and their response was, because you're not from here, you don't understand how penis and vagina work, okay? You don't understand that even if you said, I don't want it, no, then that you know you don't understand that he don't understand that you don't get it. He's what? And this is it. Was now this all happening? And the fact that this wasn't more of a conversation at the her husband is accused of the R. It also says, however, Columbia and, and Columbia administrators. Uh, assured the victim that they would discipline Wiley, but not expel him. The university would place Wiley on academic probation, citing poor grades, but not SA. Over the coming months, other reports surfaced of Wiley assaulting other students, but nothing came of it. So my thing is, oh, so more than if the one girl said this been happening because, as they said, they, he played football for the student team. Back in night of all. So was okay. So I just want it to be known, sir. If you want, and again, I'm not saying that man is innocent, guilty. I'm just saying what happened. Okay, I'm just saying he on Twitter fussing with Garcelle or trying to with Garcelle and Crystal 
However, there is a full length story about you being accused of, hey, okay, as I told y'all, an accusation does not mean guilt. However, an accusation is an accusation. And if there is proof that the person went to the school, if the school did in fact tell the person, hey, it you just you didn't get it. You was it was a misunderstanding. Talk about that. So, in my opinion, the reason that they're not asking um her back. They don't want to have to deal with an actual S S A assault lawsuit and all of that. Okay. They said not on our watch. They said not today. Say they said we don't have time for that because it's too much for us to do. I also she was boring. That too. She was boring and no one cares. Also, next up, um, child TVD said that Kim said that she wants to have um a new show. Okay. TVD said, you know, that she's pitching. I'm sorry. TVD said, page six said uh, that Kim is pitching a new reality show um, with the name To Hell and Back. I was like, ma'am, it's only a little bit of bankruptcy. Is it really? It's only a little bit of bankruptcy. Why are you being all stinker dang dang? I was, is it really? To, was, it, was, it, was it really? I don't know if it was. I don't know if hell is the right word. Because you spent all the money. Okay, if you spent all the money, that's on you. Nobody but you. Would y'all watch a new show by Kim? Would anybody watch To Hell and Back? Okay, it says Kim is in the early stages of the... Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Kim is in the early stages of developing a new show. She's in talk with several networks and streamers, okay? But at this point, it's unclear where the show will land or what it will even be about. She's excited to see what happens. Kim is excited to possibly get a job, okay? It's, it's that simple. It's, 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 that, it's that simple, okay? It's not like... It's weird freaking and not bending my neck. Hold on, y'all. Kim wants a job. And Kim... Now, I think Kim now realizes the the money train of Bravo is not what it used to be. Court ain't got no money. Nobody care about her raise them kids. They don't. Um, Kim is probably going. What what white station? Maybe she could. I don't even. I can't even see Kim on We TV. I can't. Even though We TV had love and lock love, love at the lock up. Um, so maybe they could do a bit of you know, a little, little white show. Um, child, child, I want to see Kim. I feel like Kim needs to get our get out of our face and do what I'm not sure, but just get out of our face because like we don't want to see you. Okay. Um, child, Catherine is still beefing with uh, is it BG, Biggie? He used to be called Blanket. Okay, Blanket now goes by, it's B-I-G-I. -I. That, to me, could be B-G or Big E. I don't know. I'm going to say the younger Jackson. Um, And, you know, he still feel like, Mama, Grandmama, stop trying to use my daddy money to fight for. Now, I said before, you know, Catherine is in her, Catherine's in her 90s. In the in her night, she child, she child. Look, eventually, Catherine gonna be gone to the upper room and can go visit Michael. Okay, and her and then her and Michael can fuss about it at that point in time. Um, however, Catherine, like, look, you know, he has enough money. There's there's a, this, this is the get you guys, okay. And I, oh, look, oh, it's BG, ha, 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 stand alive. Anyway, uh, thank you. But this, okay, this, okay, y'all, this is gonna sound crazy. Okay, it's gonna, and I, I don't mean no harm to anybody. I feel like, you know, people feel like Michael's children are not his children. People have always felt like Michael's children look very Caucasian y, okay? They, I've always felt like, you know, we, we know their mama was a Caucasian, a Caucasian woman, okay? We know that. And a part of me in my head for a split second 
for a split second. I was like, this, you know, elder black woman is just fighting to protect her son. And the, the children of her son who happens to people, some people say, why, why are you trying to block your grandmama from suing somebody? When again, cats, I'm like, the estate is worth like a billion dollars. Okay. The estate is worth over $1 billion. And this lawsuit will cost maybe 500000 why are you acting like this amount of money is going to break the bank? I, and I feel like uh, B, BG, go sit the fuck down somewhere. Go sit down somewhere. Like, at the end of the day, um, it's a drop in the bucket. It's a drop in the bucket. And what Catherine had to endure as them kids' mama, as Joe's wife, and all in between, I feel like if she want to spend, you know, half a meal in court fighting something, okay, fine. Again, the estate is worth over a billion dollars. And it says, you know, it clear, it's, clear, it's, clear, it's, clear, it's clear to Catherine that the executors are holding all of the assets in the estate in order to keep control over them and to avoid the more li uh, liberal distribution requirements of the trust. Um, she's like, why are y'all trying to hold all this money? This is the thing. Because if these people hold all the money and they keep trying to control Michael's family, his mama. Okay. His mama. For what? Stop fussing with your grandmama. Okay. It's not like Michael's catalog and his estate will always grow because folks will always want to, the music will always be played. Like it's going to consistently make money forever. It will consistently make money forever. And my thing is this. Child, when Michael died, no money went with him. It all is still here. And people are more rich now based off his stuff than they were before. And if Catherine wants to try to protect something that her son wanted, protecting when he was alive, let that happen. BG, uh, aka formerly known as Blanket, you don't know shit. I also be feeling like, cause how old a child? How old is this, is, this, is this boy? I don't even because I feel like would you did, did, did he tell you what he wanted? Did he did he, did, my, did your daddy tell you what he wanted? I feel like let your grandmama who could what. <laughs> Once your grandparent, once once your elder gets to a certain age, let it be. Child, they let it, let it, let it. Like don't don't have your your family fussing up till death. Cause she's in the nineties, okay. Now we she could she live to be one hundred and twenty four? She could. However, once people hit ninety, let them do whatever they want to do. Okay, well, my grandfather on my mama side, he died at 90, 94. I think it was 94, uh, 94. And his whole life, he would always have a little bit of gin with some water. Okay, and even when in, it, in his last, you know, year or two of life, we weren't trying to prevent him from having a little bit of gin for what? If he want to have some gin and some water, fuck you, he going to have it. Because he's earned the right to have a little sip of gin. And if Grandmama uh, Jackson wants to protect her son's stuff, and it will cost about half a meal, but the estate is worth a billion dollars, let it be. Even if she lose the case, so the way. Go sit down somewhere, Biggie Blanket. 
let it be. And where the fuck is Prince and, and, and Paris? Why they not saying nothing? Who they who they siding with? I just find I think it'd be weird when people, you know, don't want to just acknowledge, well, you know what? You might be the issue. <laughs> uh Biggie Blanket, Biggie, Biggie Blanket, you could you could be the issue. Because you want to let it be. So I feel like let the let, let it let it happen. Let it happen. Okay. That money ain't going nowhere at all. Um, what's a child? Friends with Trace. Another day, another Trey Songs accusation. Look, I don't know. So Winter Blanco, I don't know who she is. I feel like she's one of them bad girl club people. Um, out of my time frame, because back when I used to watch back, I used to watch Magic Club when back when when Nelly was first not Nelly Nun days, Tanisha them. I was back then. I didn't watch the shit recently, so I feel like she's a, a bad girl club person, whatever. But she said that, that Trey Songs allegedly, allegedly, I'll talk to her. Um, look. Some folks feel like she lying. Some folks feel like she not. But she said it happened. Let's see what happens to our child. Because every time we turn around, somebody saying Trey did something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Trey songs to me for sure has a reputation now. But it's, just, it's the same thing with, with, with Puff. Where people were being completely inappropriate and doing things inappropriately that because they were who they were at that point in time, nobody said shit, including the, in, including the victims. And sometimes I think people don't get, when you go through certain things, you become harder and harder and harder to protect yourself. And again, I don't know this lady. So I don't know her history or whatever. All I'm saying is she said she has an accusation Okay, if YouTube knock y'all out, come on back in. And that's if I think it's on you. I should get my iPad. What's in the other room? So my phone is knocking me out. Um, yeah, when Kiki was the first person to say something, and people did not, I believed Kiki. I believed Kiki because Kiki had a reason to lie. Truthfully, um. But I feel like in Trey Songz around here on, on a freaking R&B love tour with Keisha Cole and them, while still being accused of, you know, fucking with people. Period. And I feel like, and again, it, back in 2018, and I feel like stuff about Trey Song started coming out. I feel like by the time stuff about Trey Songs started coming out, no one really knew how he was. That's why when we heard Kiki, when we first heard Kiki speak up, he was like, Trey Songs? And I wish we, you know what I'm saying, that Trey It was shocking, but I was like, Kiki ain't no reason to lie. And slowly but surely, information came out. So I'm like, it's, it's probably more victims. It's probably more people. And we don't know. Um, I don't know on what day Excuse me. I don't know on what day Mama D and Benzino said, you know, let's go lie together. I don't know why on God's green earth, you know, Beyonce's internet and Oprah Winfrey's bank accounts. I don't know why Benzino and Mama D up here. I also don't understand why Mama D has a hard on for Bambi. I feel like your son and Bambi are divorced. And the more that you and whoever else attempt to keep fussing with her, like publicly, it's getting it's getting crazy, y'all. Y'all, just... before I, I spill all this tea, the main tea when we when I got in the room and what I seen. The only reason I'm doing this is because I felt like Bambi used me from the start. Yeah, oh. Bambi, and, and let me tell you why. And let me tell you why. Mm -hmm. Bambi wants to make scrappy jealous when she was dating, me. and and my. Didn't know that. So he was with somebody else, right? I don't know who he was with, but I know I now. I, I know now that Bambi was just dating to get on the show to get with Scrap. That's why I've been trying to tell people. 
So now, really? So now y'all want us to believe that Bambi made up shit to bring us up a child? I don't. That's a hundred. That's why I've been trying to tell you. Now, now, now. I always felt like once I knew that. I still was being a gentleman, still didn't like. And thank you for and, respecting and, and still never, was mad. Right, and still never, right, and still never disrespected or even like yeah. was mad. I just took it like a man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and, and, and it moved on. You know what I'm saying? Scraps a little taller than me. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's a better fit. You know, at, at that at that time. Yeah. When 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 Bambi was going through this, when they brought up the, the, the hot tub scene on Love and Hip Hop this past season, yeah. I'm like, damn, this was a long time ago. And I'm like, why are they doing this? Bambi sat up in there when they was giving her, her slack because her and Rashida were friends, and they're like, "Damn, did you set up Kirk for, for them?" She gonna say, "Well, I know y'all don't like the way Benzino look, but he was cool with me. He was kind of oh. Benzino. Get out of my face! I just need people to leave the past in the past. I feel like saying Bambi used me to make Scrap jealous. I was like." All of y'all is community dick and community penis. Nobody was, you know what I'm saying, one-on-one, one-on-one. One, one, one. Look, my, I be like, look, you know, if Bambi was single, Scrap was single, Benzina was single, as long as everybody know, everybody clean, and who fucking, what's the point? And that was like 20 years ago. And I'm like, at what point did Mama D say, Scrap, I'm going to bring Benzina on and do a live with Benzina. We're going to discuss Bambi. Why is no one saying shut up about it? Cause don't nobody care. Like we don't like I don't I don't dislike Bambi. I don't dislike scrap. I do feel like they both be on some bullshit and people need to get out of it. Okay, get out my fucking face. Um Safari is releasing a book called The Lure of Celebrity Dating. Now, I don't know who told him to write a book. I don't know. The Safari ain't really, like, he dated Nicki Minaj. I feel like to write a book about celebrity dating, you don't have the know-how to do that because, to me, Erica Mina, um, Amala Negra, I don't find them to be, like, celebrities. Those are just your co-workers at Love and Hip Hop. And when you got with Nikki, she wasn't a celebrity. She became one. Okay. Uh, so if y'all are, you know, just enthused, go get a book. <laughs> Written by Safari. The Allure of Celebrity Dating. Child, when I tell y'all these niggas around here, it'd be this dumb, this dumb shit for no reason. Um, now we know that they had said that Puffy, you know, had sold Zeus, not Zeus, or not Zeus. Puffy had sold Revolt, and at that point in time, it was to an anonymous, you know, person. Well, now the person is allegedly the owner of Essence Magazine. Now, I don't know how to pronounce this man's name. I promise you, when I saw them, I was like, is it Richie Lou? Is he Richie Lou? It could be Richie Lou, okay? However, the owner of Essence Magazine, Mr. Art Dennis, um, is allegedly the new owner of Revolt TV. Now, I like Essence. You know, Essence, look, if Essence Fest had their own, like, TV station to show Essence Fest, and all that comes, child, that's, that's, that could be a thing. That could be a thing. Um, it would be great in my opinion. Okay. Now this is versus a uh, per page six. Um, I wonder how much did it cost? Cause like with Diddy being sued in lawsuits and, um, raids and stuff, did he sell it for the low low? Because, like, or did he want top dollar? You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes I'm in a bind, Nate, and you want to, you know, get what you can get when you can get it. And so it'd be like a little bit discount. Um, So I do feel like how much did it cost? Like, how much money was put in Diddy's pocket? Okay. And then 
what is, you know, the R. Dennis Man, you know, the Essence Magazine owner, what he going to do with it? What's going to happen? So at least we know that little pe- child did it. Child did it out here. Did he bopping for the wrong reasons or whatever? I mean, that be. Um, because it's just so, so sick of child. Jason, Jason Lee had an event, right? And I was like, and Cardi and Rihanna was there and Paris Hilton. I still don't like Jason Lee. A part of me feel like icky when it comes to Jason Lee. Some of his interviews are cool or whatever, but I also feel like sometimes he'd be on some bullshit. So, but I was like, he had like I, Rihanna. Now, now, I'm like, who was that kid? Who was the kid? I don't know. But Rihanna, first, Rihanna looks so cute. Rihanna, child, Rihanna, like I'm around here living life. I'm a mama too. Got my man, my man, my man. Leave me alone. Um, but Rihanna and around here. I don't know those white people. Um, Tiffany Haddish was there. Okay, Paris Hilton was there. Um, Ch- Jason Lee in a metallic act. I don't even that man long. Uh, but again, I'm like, it's just, I don't like Jason Lee. Now, the dinner table looks amazing. Okay, the food was probably good, too. I just feel like Rihanna and Cardi B should not be a friend for Jason Lee. Uh, he irks me. Uh, I don't trust him. I feel like, you know, if there's ever, if there's a villain, he's the villain. I feel like, you know, you just can't um, even, that must be like Rihanna's nephew or something, because the little kid was always around, you know, Rihanna. Or is he, like, is it, I'm like, but who was the kid? And your kids come to a, a, I don't know. Let's see, it was for his Hollywood Care Foundation. But I'm like, why, why, why is this one child there in a suit? Anyway. But Jason to me is the villain. You know, when you watch like when you watch like remember the movie The Bone Collector with, with Denzel Washington and, and Angelina Jolie? I feel like he would be the villain in that movie. Any villain movie we need a villain for, it would it would be Jason Lee. Now Car again, yeah, Cardi B and Rihanna looks great. What if Rihanna did a, a song with Cardi B? Like if Cardi had a little rap or whatever, and then you know Rihanna is, is like hummed on it, that'd be kind of cute. That'd be kind of cute, okay? Uh, but I just feel like Jason Lee's the Jason Lee's the person. I just I don't jump in more with their performance. Shante Scott, man, at home, and that Jason Lee. Um, Spinderella was there, but it's like when you see people you like around people you don't. I'm like, are y'all a fan of like a character? Or it, it's because and because I don't know Jason Lee. I only know of his antics on social media and in his, you know, reality gossiping realm of world. I don't know that man personally. So maybe personally, you know, he's a good person. Underneath the ick of it all, possibly, you know, maybe I don't know. I don't know. Um, but he had a party, and I only like the the outfits that was being worn and stuff. Why you child YouTube is just so difficult. We not gonna fall out, and I'm like, and I'm still here. So again, if YouTube not y'all out, child, I'm still here. Come on back in. Um, happy birthday to Halle Bailey. Uh, she turned twenty four, I believe, and you know she rocked her and child her man, her man, her man, her man. She over there across the country seas, child over there with the money different and whatever. Her and the baby, you know, have a good time, doing mud bath and everything. You know, she's having a good time with my man, my man, my man, you know, Halo, Daddy. And they they really be on Snapchat. I'm too old for Snapchat. And even though I like the antics, I refuse to get on Snapchat to see they shit. I just find it on TikTok. Okay. But happy birthday to Hallie Bailey. Is it Hallie? Yes, Hallie. I didn't say I didn't say it wrong. Um, you know, they're still keeping the baby's face, you know, off social media. It is kind of blurry or whatever. It's still cute. So happy birthday to her. Um, Travis Scott. Remember the Astro lawsuit? The the trav the travesty that happened at that point. Um, the lawsuit was dismissed. Okay. Um, I felt like he 
shouldn't have been sued. So, you know, you know, this is according to digital music news documents show that the company wanted the entire action of all parties and all causes of action dismissed from the courts. That would include all claims and kind of claims filed by all parties involved in the in the lawsuit. Um, that was a tragic accident, but I'm like, it ain't it wasn't his fault. It wasn't his fault. Um, I will possibly be reviewing, which is really me to get my commentary for the Housewives of Potomac reunion because I want to read Robin for Phil's. Uh, there were Andy was asking Robin about how she felt about Juan cheating, if if she still believed that he did not fuck that lady, who he went to the hotel room to pay for the hotel room, and also the lady who we kept seeing with out and about, and she said, "I can't be for sure for nothing. I I don't know for sure anything, um, but I know that I believe what he told me." And they said, girl, he ain't even here for you. Because she's going to say, well, you know, he supports me, and, but he's not here. Your man left you here destitute. De your man know you're going to be around here getting scolded for his actions and he did not show up. And I'm like, that's why she got fired. Because your man can't even show up to taping the show that pay y'all bills. Okay, he says y'all bills. And if you say my bills, then I'm saying fuck you. Okay. Um child, we're gonna start because you know, I yeah, it ain't much today. It's just it's just some follow-up or whatever. Um, who I want to start with. Cause we did well, let's do I'll do a little bit of Al B Shore. So Al B of the Shore. Okay, then y'all y'all know Al B Shore is uh Quincy's real daddy, you know. Quincy is not Diddy's bio son. You know, he is raising him like that or whatever. But Al B. Sure is that boy daddy. And, and, and he posted, come home. The door is wide open. You're safe here, son. I love you, pops. You're biological. Okay. Now, it's known that they had a rocky relationship. And I feel like both of them have been open about them trying to get in, in, in a better place. And I feel like we we don't even really see Quincy around a lot like that or whatever, like we've seen Justin and Christian. That's the that name, right? Yeah. And Quincy, we got into it. Quincy is the oldest of them all, actually. Um. But Al be sure, like, you know, I ain't got time for y'all. Now, he was live. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. The world and I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got up this morning and uh, I did a video. The song was playing on the uh, Good Morning song was playing. I think it was Yay. So I got up, I started filming. I was like, man, I can't post this. I'm looking crazy. <laughs> But uh, I just want to give it to you how it is. I'm just having a conversation with someone very near and dear to me. We talk about so much. I enjoy science. Science. It's crazy how much Quincy looked like him. But y'all know, Al B. Sure is like fuck Puff. Okay, Al B. Sure still feel like Puff took out um, Kim Porter. Now, do I believe that Puff? Took out Kim Porter? No. Um, because I was asked that question earlier today, and I'm like, I don't think that he took out Kim Porter. However, I do feel like Puff has a lot of negative things that happen around him. Um, I feel like Puff has a lot of things that happen with death of people close to him. You know, Biggie, Andre Harrell. Um, Kim Porter, and it's little stuff that has happened over the years that it's like, ah, uh, you know, you always around, you know, things went on or whatever. Nobody really be fucking with you, or whatever. Um, so I, I do feel like it may be that negative energy be around him. And I'll be sure ever since Kim passed away, 
Al being sure it kept saying, like, in his own way, sometimes directly, sometimes subliminally, Diddy did it. Diddy's involved in some kind of way. You know, a lot of folk did not, you know, get how she passed away and all that stuff. Um, but I feel like I'll be sure it's always like made it clear that like, I don't fuck with him. I don't. Um, but he's also made it clear that he respects the fact that Puff helped raise his son because, you know, Puff was with Kim Porter. And at that point in time, you know what I'm saying, he was not the best father to Quincy at the point in time, and now they're on better footing. I feel like <laughs> I feel like if anybody is going to testify against Puff and, and give some kind of, you know, inclination about how he did not trust Puff, it would damn sure be, be I'll be sure. Um, look, oh, I swear, child, look, we was talking earlier about the Diddy stuff, and I said the fact that Lil' Kim and Faith Evans have been silent in defense of Puff as a person speaks loudly. So not only Mary J. Mary J. Blige, Faith Evans, Lil' Kim, my thing be, you know, I I said before as well, if, if, any, if any news, about, first of all, I, I don't have no bad past. Like no one is gonna ever, no one would ever come out and say, Jilly did that. I don't, I don't, that ain't me. I ain't, I'm not squeaky clean. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I have a past, but I've you know, never with that. But I said, if there were ever any accusations about me, you would never hear crickets. You would never hear crickets. You would never hear crickets. There would be too many people who actually know me in real life. Like, nah. Mm -mm. Like, I'm, it's, it's, it, it, it won't happen. So for Puff, you know, the fact that I feel like certain people supported him in the music biz, you know, visually. Like, okay, if Puff had some kind of war thing, okay, Mary gonna pop out. However, I feel like Mary ain't said nothing. And it could be that Mary just don't want to get involved in it. Like, Mary does not want to be a witness for the prosecution or the defense, okay? That can be what it is. However, I do feel like when you are in tough times like this, your closest people should speak out in support of you. You know? And even not supporting your actions, but maybe even saying, you know, the puff I know would feel horrible about his actions from before. And hopefully this will all get straightened out. You know, like not defending his actions, but you can speak up for a person you know and then say, you know, let the cars fall where they may. And but who I knew was different, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like no, like there are no witness statements. <laughs> we see these other court cases where people are speaking up and writing these child letters for people or whatever. And, oh, they're a great person, or whatever. Like, no one has done that for video. And the people who have was like, Man, we don't know Tyrese, Uncle Luke, y'all are the ones we know, man. You know, so a part of me do feel like the fact that you don't even see, like, to not even see maybe Diddy sitting outside uh, with a cigar sitting with Mary J. Bly or sitting with some people who was to support him. Because I, I'm a firm believer in when people do bad things, they still have family who love them, even if you want them to be held accountable. So it's like, child, ain't nobody said shit about that man. And I'm like, well, child, good stuff, good, good stuff, could be true. Um, because even you know, J Diddy and Quincy, and I'll be sure and Quincy. And even because I, I I feel like some, you know, some people may not even realize that Diddy ain't Quincy's daddy. 
because for a while it wasn't really talked about that you know Quincy's daddy was really Albie Shore, and once it kind of like that, and I said we well, look, he look just like a daddy, you know. So even him put her, you know, you know, you're, you're biological. It's like, hey, in case y'all don't know, that's my son, and I want my son. Because again, when your stepdaddy is being arrested and and looked at and this and that and then it's you maybe want your son, son, come on, come on home. Okay, I got, I got room here for you. Um, I want to touch. Well, let's keep because it's so much. I'm like, what part do I even go too far? Because there's so much stuff. Um, to even address that's it's this connect. It's just connected. It's just connected. It's just connected. even how they say you know how Kanye West reportedly dodged Diddy's meetup during World Loud. I said. Now he died. If, if Diddy asked you for a party, you got to say no. Cat told us if Diddy invites you somewhere, you, you got to say no. You got to say no. You know? And so allegedly back in 2022, uh, Kanye West said, look, look, even I came for the puff. No. No. Okay. So it's like it's so much stuff. Just surrounding what's going on. I don't know where to start. Um, but no, first let's do. I can't do that part yet. Y'all, let's do portion. Because what I gotta do? What all is it? What all is it, y'all? Um, we did for some right. We got the, 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 the okay. Let's let's do portion. Cause we can do portion and and then get into um all because everything else is like this diddy's is child's diddy bop okay, it's diddy bopping matter of fact y'all take one less second y'all and like the video Portia now. Portia and Simon. I feel like because I asked earlier who is the villain in their, you know, BS. Um, to me, the actual villain in all of this, the reason I feel like it's Simon is because he's been doing this for a longer time. At the same time, though, Portia is a villain too. <laughs> Portia was a willing participant in the bullshit. Now, currently, okay, let me refresh, child. It's some of Diddy shit going on around here. Um, you know, Simon has filed a cease and desist. I said, not a cease and desist. Simon round here then found filed a damn cease and desist to block Portia from filming at the house. Now, the fact that, you know, he sent the cease and desist letter to True Entertainment, which is bravo on them, the, 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 the production company, um, today to demand that they stop filming at the house amid his divorce from, from, return from Portia. Because Simon said, you know, he is the legal owner of the house. They share he is the legal owner and he no longer permits any filming to take place at the residence. 
I said, now wasn't Portia wasn't Portia the one that was the one uh Tamron Hall and said we buying a house together? You know. So if Simon is now saying, no, I'm the legal oh, Portia, did you marry that man and not make sure your name was on the deed? Did he convince you to put your 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 night junior name he gave you the because if your legal name ain't whatever he named you, like I said, not this fool telling them people that I am the fifth member. Okay, I am the fifth member, and that you know you can't film here, even though for a year and a half, the whole time they were together. That's where they lived, the marital home. Even though plenty of time we saw her at that house and them together at the house, I said, this completely makes Simon a villain because the house y'all shared, you like, you know, no, I'm the legal owner of this house, okay, that we share, and I will not allow y'all to film anything in this house. Which means Portia had to film somewhere else. Portia, where you living? Where do you live? Now, maybe Portia moved back to her old house. You know, she got her mom in the house. So maybe Portia is, is back in her old house. And my thing is this. If, if you, like, it, it's a nice size house. So it's not as if, if she moved back, it's like small. So, you know what I'm saying? But the fact that this basically means Portia married her night, Jimmy Stranger, did not know who he really was, did not know about his criminal past, his immigration debacles, but also you married him and moved into a house and was boasting about y'all getting his house and showing it all around the world for Simon to allege that... You can't film there because legally the house is mine. Now, because Simon is also a scheming a scammer, it's possible that he lying. It's possible that maybe, you know, they both own a house and he's been an asshole and blocking it. Maybe Portia lawyers don't know what they're doing. I don't know. Okay. This is Simon's fifth child. Remember when Simon, I remember because Simon said, Time to go. Uh, Simon said when he and Fallon were working up, whatever, how it was him, even even in a jokingly way. I think you no, know, Simon said this on that show, that family show that he had with Portia. And we was talking to Dennis, and he was talking about how when he divorced people, he has a moving crew to come and move the chicks out because he's used to that. This is his fifth divorce. Simon probably knows all the scheme and scamming ways to be sure that he gets all what he wants. Because if y'all would y'all would just be on lovey dovey not too long ago, and now you out here blocking her from 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 filming, and we know most of the housewives do something in the, at their houses. So, girl, film child. I also wonder. Will he try to block her from discussing the divorce? Now, part of me feel like Portia don't want to film with Simon. And if Portia don't want to film with Simon, Simon don't want her filming at the house. I feel like if Portia probably like, okay, you can, I'll, I'll film with him, he possibly would then say, well, fine. I think to me, my opinion is that he does not want her filming at that house without him. Because Simon wants to be on, he wants a peach. He wants a peach. And it's crazy because I'm like, Poor girl, Portia got em embarrassment, okay? Embarrassment. Only because you was fussing with us about my man, my man, my man. My man, my man, my man. And now look, 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 look at it. You didn't, you didn't let the house, he won't let you back in, and now he will not allow you to film at the house because as he says, he's the legal owner. Now, on top of that, her sister, Lauren. Now, Lauren, to, to me, 
to me. Your sibling will only do what you want them to do. Most times when people are going through things, you want your family, you want folks to don't say shit. Don't say nothing. When Ashanti's allegedly pregnant, I'm like, mm -mm, nope. What Ashanti mama said, you know, until my daughter tell me that we can, I'm not saying nothing. Because most people like, look, just don't say nothing. Her sister had been little by little, you know, saying things and replying to things or whatever. And that's her right to do as a sister. But I feel like if Portia can't say shit, uh, Lauren, be quiet. We know he's a schemer scammer. Now, Lauren went around here and posted Simon, um, like I said, actively trying to create a false narrative. So somebody sent Portia, not Portia, sent Lauren, Portia allegedly, sent her this screenshot showing Simon trying to tell somebody stuff about the divorce. Well, he said, I have a I have new for filing to share. Send me the email. And someone replied back and said, hello, no thank you, Mr. Gabadia. So this is them trying to say, Simon is around here trying to get his, his story out, leak information that probably can make Portia look bad. Um, and he's trying to control the narrative. Now, I said, child, y'all is fooling. Okay. Um, I she just stayed with Dennis. <laughs> she should have stayed with Dennis. Because what it's like, what do what do we do with this information? You know what I'm saying? No one felt like Simon Simon as of now is as good of no, he's been this way. He did this with Fallon. So for me, it's hard to feel bad for Portia because Portia stood by and watched. Him do the same shit to Fallon. He was he would leak information to, about Fallon. He would leak all kinds. Simon was the one who leaked the fact that Fallon was pregnant. He leaked the information. Okay. And he round here wanting to be an upstanding gentleman. And he isn't. Simon is doing exactly what he wants to do, and that is get in the news to get a new girlfriend and hope for the best. I was like, child, that's on next time. Just, you know, next time, just, just let it be. Next time, don't even try to fix the narrative so that you don't look like a homewrecker because now your home is wrecked. By the same man that you know that went through the bullshit with um that lady. Uh, let's get into the puff of it all. Now, puffy shit is going all around the world, and I yeah, yeah, they can't find that man, baby. Okay. Um, between let me see, because this child is just it's just so much. You know, they're saying that companies and parties associated with Diddy have received or will receive federal subpoenas because they're saying this is an investigation, okay? Meaning we have this information and we want y'all to talk, okay? Uh, per TMZ, uh, the rate on his home are the start. We, it's the start of it. And that's how they start collecting more and more evidence. And the bottom part is, as we reported, the Fed's goal here is finding out who flew on the dive and where they went. They're not only looking for alleged victims, but also any potential witnesses who could support or dispute allegations of human trafficking. So when folk keep thinking, oh, they're looking for other folk. No, they want people who can also corroborate these allegations. They want people to elaborate on what they saw. And if it's really the trafficking of people, um, this is not going to be no easy, you know, um, thing. And when I saw, wait, because supposedly, I thought I saw something that said, yeah, it's right here. Um, 
Homeland Security officer says there's concrete, detailed, explicit allegations against Diddy. This is not a random, okay? Um, because some folks it's always like it's a random lawsuit that maybe and it's like they're like, no, no, and we're getting a lot of cooperation from his accusers, accusers. So they're just building the case. They're building really the case because he's being accused of child tampering with people's coochies against their will. Um, from the lawsuit, now we discussed yesterday about the girl Daphne Joy. So Daphne Joy is actually um, what is it? First Daphne. Daphne Joy, who we talked about yesterday, is 50 Cent's baby mama. And she is the girl who they were saying when they said that Carisha and someone named Daphne Joy were alleged workers of his, were getting money from him, and this and that and then this. These are, she was messing around with Puff at some point in time. And She's saying, I was never a sex, you know, person. That's not what it was. But she is the woman who had that, that little boy, Sire, that's his mama. Now, the get you gotcha was, we knew how bad of a father figure and how much of a baby he was with his first son. Because we've seen 50 be horrible to the first son and the mama. And now, Daphne, you always get some of that. So, Daphne post it on her own page, Kate Daphne Joy, because again, the Rodney Jones lawsuit includes her and claim that she is a sex worker, and she said it's not true. I am deeply hurt by the lies in Rodney Jones lawsuit. The claim that I am a sex worker is 100% false in the character, character assassination. I am retaining an attorney to explore all legal remedies against both Rodney and his attorney. So she's saying, not on my watch, not my, not my cooch. Not at all. So, 50 Cent, okay, ever since it came out that, what was this first one? When it first came out that Daphne was named as a worker of sex with Diddy, 50 Cent posted, I did know you was a sex worker. Uh, you little sex worker, laughing out loud, this shit is a movie. And I'm like, why are you laughing about sex work? Like, by, and again, remember when that first son was born, 50 Cent was all about that, that, that little boy. Now, I do feel like we have not seen 50 Cent in the end, in the, but that's that lady. Okay, but I also feel like, lady, um, he was a, a bad baby daddy before. But I mean, that be, so he had been cracking jokes. If I can find all the little jokes he cracked. Because he was being a complete asshole. Um, that's what made is this one? No. Child, he was talking so much shit. I gotta find all of it. I gotta find all of it. Was that the only one? It was he he just kept calling her a sex worker, or whatever, and blah blah blah. So she then was like, Well, first of all, Negro, um, everything is a joke to you until our safety is, is compromised. Which is happening now. You are wreaking ha real havoc, frenzy and chaos onto people's lives. How would you feel the sire was the one in handcuffs for nothing? We moved to New York to give you the chance to be a father to your son. And you saw him sometimes out of the two years that I lived there. I live one mile from you. I'm, I'm tired of upholding and protecting the image to our son that you have never earned. Let's put the real focus on your true evil actions of honoring me and physically abusing me. You are no longer my oppressor, and my God will handle you from this point on. You have permanently damaged the last hope I had for you as a father to preserve our family with these last and final false claims made against me, meaning him trying to make it seem as if, yes, yeah, she's a worker of the sex. You have broken our hearts for the last and final time. So Daphne's like, you know, get out of my face, bitch. Okay. 50 Cent <laughs> was like, fuck you, bitch. Basically. Okay. Um, 50 Cent is now allegedly denying that she, that he art her. He wants to get full custody of a child. He went off to TMZ. Um, he also brought up how 
right here. You moved a mile away in hopes of having another baby with me, but I was busy. So you moved back and then you started receiving money from Brother Love. Now, here we are, little sex worker. Again, I was like, what? 50 Cent has always went after Diddy. Whatever beef they have has been long standing, at least up to the Cent side. Um, when, when, when Diddy started dating, or at least I don't want to say dating, when Diddy started being seen with Daphne, who we knew at that point in time with 50 Cent Baby Mama, child beef ensued. Okay. Um, I feel like 50 Cent has been cracking so many jokes that it was only a matter of time for someone saying, well, nigga, you around here, you know, doing this and that and that and this. Now, again, Daphne Joy is denying that she was a worker of sex, okay? Um, her and Carisha were women that Diddy, you know, had been messing with. You know what I'm saying? We had seen him with Daphne Joy on num numerous occasions, as well as um Carisha. I feel like the accusations that both Carisha and Daphne Joy were working for sex came from a lawsuit from somebody else. You know, and Carisha ain't said nothing yet at all. But Daphne Joy is denying that she's a work of sex. I feel like her accusation towards the descent is separate. I feel like Chai wasn't there. I feel like 50 Cent has the, 50 Cent always likes to squabble and fuss with women. He likes to be messy towards women. He likes to say crazy things about women, um, be the troll when it comes to fussing with women. Um, I feel like, I don't, I don't feel like she has a reason to lie. I feel like people, at I've said for a while, I don't like that when 50 gets upset. Even how 50 used to talk about the Fox when they broke up. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he has a history of being misogynistic, mean and rude to women once they are broken up. And that's a main reason why I do not like 50. I don't like him. Um, he's always come off to me as an immature prick. Now, the bad part is he has great shows, and I'm happy that the shows are not really fully just him. It's other people as well. Uh, but he's a bad person to me. I've always felt that way before any of this. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like if her, if Daffy's point was, you are the father to our child. And for you to be on social media pushing the point and pushing a, a narrative that I am a worker of sex. Like, why would you do that to our son? And then all of a sudden, you want custody of this son. However, your oldest son, you can't stand. So it's just like, I, it's weird. You know what I'm saying? Um, but fit, you know, fit, look, he's like he's denying it, and we really said, okay. Uh, it says after Daphne made her claims and whatever, 50 is their son is 12. Their son is tw ain't 12 already, dang. But 50 says that uh, the allegations she made are com completely false and are an attempt to, re to retaliate, or retaliate against him for seeking full custody of their son. So it's like. At 12, you now want custody. Fifty told, told TMZ the dis disturbing allegations and the sworn pleadings recently filed in a court case re related to death and joy, the mother of my 12 year old son, um, has required me to take the necessary legal actions to protect my son, Sire. The most recent false and baseless ac accusations by death and joy are clearly in response to my decision to seek so custody. So somebody said that she's getting paid for sex by banging Diddy. 
you then say, okay, I now I want my kid. I feel like there's a difference between somebody, first of all, if Diddy is around here taking women from state to state for sex or whatever, they're victims. So, and if look, if she want to fuck for a buck, let her fuck for a buck. If I feel like did not Diddy, I feel like Fifty Cent saying somebody said she doing this, so I want my kid now. To me, it seemed like you knew she had been around Puff. You knew she dated other people. And now you want custody, not because you feel like she's a bad mom, but because somebody said she may she may be in pay for a coach. And I feel like both of them could possibly be going at each other because if he's saying, well, I want custody, so she's being a bitch or whatever, but she's saying, you've been an asshole, you are right, you are you are worried at me. So it's just it's it all who is child blame Diddy. This all well, I, not Diddy and that dude who um filed a lawsuit. Um, because it's like you're dragging other people in it. Then because you know 50 Cent talking cash shit about that. Stevie J, I was like, what is it? Why he get involved? Why he get involved? Good, man. You and your feelings about Daphne? Is she with gang them? Or is it that you sucking little rod? <laughs> How we go? I want you to fade. Yeah. All that. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! Curtis. Why is Faith's ex-husband involved in this? Why is Faith's ex-husband involved in this? And it gets messier and messier. So, Diddy been accused of stuff. People saying Diddy had Carisha doing stuff. People said, no. No, Daddy Joy not pregnant. Joey is pregnant. Joey is the one who has kids with Future and Bow Wow. Daddy Joy just has the one son with 50. Um, and it's just, it's just, it's just child. It's, it's it's too much. It's too much. And it's crazy because, again, but that's how, the point I think you forget is so many people are connected to, 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 D- to Diddy. So every little thing is like, okay, Diddy, Carisha, Daphne Joy, other folk around here, the, the white boy drug mule, um, any different child, the kids, his kids, because a lawsuit against Diddy has now caused strife with Daphne Joy, who is now being accused of being an S worker, and now 50 Cent wants to take her their child from her. Right. They mentioned Prince Harry because they were saying that Diddy would use his friendship or how he knew, you know, Prince Harry or whatever. To you know, kind of solidify him as you know, a, a upper echelon person. Okay, not they never said that Prince Harry did, did anything wrong that what like that, but it's like a so everybody connected to Diddy is being touched with this, everything, and so when folks feel like, oh, it's, it's not, it's not, I'm like, no, it's stuff, and everything is is, is that's why the FBI, the IRS, to the homeless. Everybody get involved, home and security, because it, it's so many moving pieces. And then, because 50 Cent talking cash shit about Daphne Joy, Rick Ross, <laughs> baby mama, was like, 
So why Ross ain't take his oldest daughter? Her mama a private. I said, not what? How? Again, child, what? Now, 50 Cent orders to pay two mil more to a woman whose S tape he published online. The jurors found the woman, Ross's baby mama, Lus Estonia Levinston, suffered several emotional distress when the rapper, whose real name was Curtis Jackson, narrated the video calling her a slut and an MFM porn star. So, again, Diddy's, not Diddy, uh, 50 Cent's behavior has always been on some bullshit. Because when he was fussing with Rick Ross, you know what I'm saying? Tia said, not to, Tia Kemp child is, is insane. But I'm like, the fact that because Diddy did something was caused shit with them Puff and, 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 and 50 Cent and that enjoy it. Now, Rick Ross, baby mama, is, is putting up stuff showing how, oh yeah, 50 Cent was supposed to pay money because of what he did to Rick Ross, baby mama. I'm like, child, if it ain't one thing, child, Tia be telling. Tia tell so much, I I, I don't even report on it. Because sometimes I'm like, I don't know what she's, I don't know at what shit's fact or fiction. And sometimes I think she be like, she be, she be that stuff. But I leave it be. Okay, but again, all this stuff that Puff doing is getting everybody involved, okay? Because the fact that now Stevie wants to fight 50 because Puff was around here on some bullshit, okay? Death and Joy having to fight uh, 50. It's just too much. It's too much. Puff calls all this shit. He's running homes. He's running friendships. He's running everything. Because we ain't one thing. And every day, something. And he ain't, child, he hasn't even been arrested yet. That's the get you gotcha. Once that man gets arrested. Oh, damn it. Why? Is it? Um, no. Because um, y'all know the Breakfast Club will flag a video. Will flag a video. I almost want this to be over because every day a new person is added to the puzzle piece and every day I don't like it. I don't want to have to figure it out. <laughs> I don't want to have to do the math. I just do not want to even deal with having to defend one person or the other. Now, Again, we I'll say it again, an accusation does not equate guilt. Multiple accusations require an, an investigation. And they are in the middle. Cat. When Cat said that if Diddy invites you to a party, it got to say no. That's that's what happened. I just, you know. And you know, again, because I, I, I wasn't there, I don't, I wasn't there. I didn't, I don't know. However, where if there's smoke and a fire, something on fire. Okay, get the water, get to investigate, and then see what's, what's up. Because if not, it's gonna keep more people will be included. More people will end up having to tell their story. Um, either in defense or support of Puff, um, you know, it's, it can go either way. Oh, child, that child, death and joy. I'm going to put this up real fast. Because death and joy, okay, the baby mama, she also posted this. I just didn't see it. Family court, great. Play catch with your son. Play basketball. Teach him some fatherly things instead of trolling all damn day on IG. He laughs a father figure in his life and needs male guidance. You're finally catching on. Great idea. I also feel like absentee parents should not get custody. I feel like you, you should get visitations. Um, it's funny how people would start with you and get mad when you defend yourself. I was like, ma'am, ma'am. Um, and again, 
I remember when she was pregnant with that little boy. I remember feeling like you do know how he treated the, the oldest son's mama. I always feel like when people see how badly people treat their other kids, like what makes you think you're going to be better? You know what I'm saying? And now you're having to deal with his his antics, his assholeness, okay? Deal with it. Anyway, y'all, that's it. Y'all, we only an hour and a half in. I am so proud of myself. I am so proud of myself. Yeah. Um, again, I am off work tomorrow. So we will have the Bishop Robbery Watch Along around 6 p.m. I will not be live at 9 p.m. Because of my work, and I want to be able to enjoy my weekends. So I promise y'all, if Bishop Rob will watch along, I'm going to edit his thing down, um, and we'll get to that tomorrow. So tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern time, we will do the Bishop Rob watch along, and then if there's other stuff in the news, we'll discuss that too, or whatever. But again, a great time was had by all. Um, I am about to go lay down on a heating pad because my neck is killing me still. Child, don't sleep wrong on your neck. Do not sleep wrong on your neck. It's gonna you're gonna wake up and it's gonna be bad. Okay. But tomorrow I'll be live. I'll have the live set for y'all to see and stuff. And I gotta go. Okay. I love you all. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope y'all have a good rest of y'all evening because I will for sure. I gotta go. Bye.